Good morning. I think we are live here. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday, guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday morning. I know some of you are in the evening or early afternoon, wherever you are. Happy Friday. So this morning, I'm going to show you my... So this can be perfect, the brew bar. Okay, perfect brew bar for... 99% of us out there. Okay, I'm not talking about 1% like you guys. If you're watching my channel, you are not the uh, 99%. You are more like 1%. Okay, so so this video is for someone wants to set up your brewery at home. You know, you you know you have no idea where to go. Okay, so this is some ideas for you. So let's get going. Comes the grinder. I really like the fellow old Gen 2, not the Gen 1, the Gen 2. Okay. So fellow old brew grinder Gen 2, and they're fantastic. They're easy to use, and also they have this technology that you don't have to do RDT. RDT is like it's called rust droplet technique. Put a little bit of water drop before you grind, reduce the static. With Gen 2, you don't have to do it. I think they are using the same technology as the hair dryer. So there are install that. Uh, uh, that technology, so you don't have to worry about normal RDT and perfect, okay? So every time, so I, uh, I'm, I'm going to brew some coffee, okay? So you guys are going to see it. And also, you know, it comes to grinder, uh, Gen 2 is, it seems like more cleaner, okay? Cleaner than Gen 1 and just seems better, okay? I mean, they're, they're upgraded. Uh, let's put it that way so so this is the grinder of my choice uh, if you are thinking about getting you know your brew bar set up at home again so this is my go-to uh, uh, go to coffee grinder at my house okay as you can see on my home here okay so I think I take this one over okay my EK 43 at home all right I'm talking about at home home setup so this is like perfect for somebody wants to get into you know, set up, you know, you are kind of like set up for your coffee bar at home. Again, so this video is for 99% of you out there. 99%, okay? Not 1%, which means most of us. Because most of us, we want to make some coffee in the morning and go to work. And then, you know, I want a good coffee. I don't need a great coffee. I just want to make a good coffee. All right. So I got that grinder coffee because, again, easy to use, easeability. I didn't have to think about it. Large dial. Oh, hopefully you guys can see it. The dial is pretty large as well. All right. I set at number five right now. Very easy to dial in. Uh, small form factor as well. It's pretty small. You can fit on any corner of your house. Yeah. I mean, I, I think this is the, if you are looking for a brew grinder, go with that. I know some of you are out there, who knows what about this, what about that, right? But again, I'm talking about the average people, okay? People like most of us, all right? Because obviously, if you're watching my channel, you, you guys are not the most people, okay? You guys are pretty down to rabbit hole when it comes to making coffee. So this video is not for you guys. So this video is for someone, you know, wants to make good coffee at home. Let's talk about kettle, okay? I'm using the, you know, so this is the kettle from uh, Amazon, company called uh, Saki. On and off switch, okay. Simply go on and off, and they hold the temperature for 30 minutes. Again, uh, it go, pretty much, you can use any kettle, guys. Okay, it doesn't need to be fancy gooseneck kettle. The gooseneck kettle helps. Okay, definitely, I recommend the gooseneck kettle. But, uh, get any kind of electric kettle, okay. The fellow makes really pretty and also fantastic kettle as well. So if you are care about aesthetic in your kitchen, and I mean maybe I go with you know go with the fellow product. So you got fellow oat and then maybe fellow kettle. But again, I mean if you just want the coffee in the morning, oh any kind of kettle is fine. Okay, any kind of kettle is fine. Uh, let's talk about dripper. My favorite dripper lately is the, the April drip, okay? A large hole on the bottom. The reason why I really like this, because the easeability is the recipes are so simple. And uh, I only do two pull, 
okay? And I, I usually do about 13 grams at a time. 13 grams ready to go. I'm gonna uh, show you guys live demo as well. Two pull, 13 gram, 100 grams each between about 35 seconds wait time. So it's extremely simple, uh, finishing about less than three minutes. I know some, a lot of you out there who I don't have time to make pullover in the morning, okay? But my question for you is, do you have five minutes in the morning? Okay, do you have five minutes? So if you have five minutes, you know what? You can make this. So I'm gonna show you. So I got my timer ready to go. Let's brew some coffee. Oh, and let's not forget scale. Okay, you need to have scale. I know I've been using the G dealer for a long time. The problem with the G dealer, wood making prober, it's not, uh, it's, the, it comes to capacity wise, it's not high enough. So uh, you need to get some kind of scale that you can do filter. Okay, so this, uh, this is the uh, nano, uh, time or the nano scale. Black Mirror Nano. Uh, it's about 70 bucks on Amazon. Uh, so this was good for like espresso and filter. So again, uh, it, it doesn't need to be a timer, but something can handle the, you know, the, all the weight, okay? I mean, you can find it at Amazon. So it's not that expensive. So pretty much this setup here set you back, okay? Uh, about 350 bucks for the Gen 2 Oat. Uh, comes to you any kind of brewer. So this one in April is about like, this is plastic by the way, 20, 30 bucks there. Scale for like 40, 50. And uh, you can use any kind of cup. And it comes to coffee, just pick your own coffee, okay? And kettle, you can just use any, you know, any kettle. Uh, just, you know, go gooseneck is definitely helps. I like the gooseneck, so. So let's start the time. Let's find out how long it's gonna take. To make coffee here i'm just going to start the timer start my kettle okay here we go i'm going to flip the camera for a second here all right water is boiling again i uh, so i like to use 13 gram dose Start it. I like to start it. It's pretty quiet as well. Okay. Okay, we talk about uh, the NT static. As you can see, it's nothing. Okay, there's no static. All right, I mean, it's, I love that. Okay, I love this. The water is already ready. Again, flat bottom paper there. First, I'm gonna wash some paper. All right, hold on a second here. I'm just gonna wash some paper. So nice to have a sink right next to me. Goodness. All right. I'm taking my time here, but thirteen gram going in. Looks pretty good. Okay, let me show you my, uh, this, so this, this is one of my favorite technique lately, okay? I'm gonna start my timer. I'm gonna do a 30 gram circle. And 70 gram, just go through the middle, up to 100. And I'm gonna wait about about 35 seconds. I'm gonna repeat the process. That's a Okay, we are at 30 almost. I'm gonna wait till 35 seconds to blooming, finish the blooming process. 
And then we're going to again repeat the process. I got 30 gram circle. Go up to 200. Done. Okay. Shut my water up. So far, I'm into about three minutes right now, folks. Wire. We are finished growing. I'm just going to tight up the space here. That's it. We are at, what, three minutes? And it uh, comes to brew time, you are looking at about uh, two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. So, again, I mean, I bet you, I bet you guys have five minutes in the morning. All right. I bet you guys have five minutes in the morning to make yourself nice coffee. I mean, if you don't, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. I don't know what to tell you with if you, yeah. Again, it's about five minutes. And the only thing you got to do is just wait. I mean, if you, do, I mean, the fact is, if you don't have time to drink, just get yourself, you know, I mean, I bet you one of those to-go mugs, I bet you guys have this, mo most of you, put that in your, you know, in the mug and go to work. It's about two minutes and 30 seconds, so this is like perfect brew. Okay, I have to say. So, I mean, this is perfect. I'm just going to shut the timer off. As you can see, yeah, brew's done. Okay. Hold on. So now, you have single cups ready to go. All right, cheers. Okay, hold on a second. Let me try this. So this is coffee from the friends at uh, Good Brothers Coffee there, Uganda, okay? Uh, raisin, fig, and cocoa. I can definitely taste the raisin. This is kind of like coffee that, you know, just, just comforting, okay? Nothing special, okay? Just give you that taste like coffee, you know? I mean, just drink that in the morning you're off to go okay start the day guys start the day again less than five minutes okay less than five minutes so yeah let me know in the comment section okay how many of you you don't want to do pour over because you don't have enough time all right and I, you know what? i bet you can squeeze about five minutes of your day okay and then after you just put everything to the side you're good Okay, you're good. So again, uh, if you're looking for that, you know, the perfect setup, you know what? I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying that word loosely, okay? And I've been using Fellow Oat for a while. Comes to daily using it just to brew, okay? You know, I mean, it's just small, does a great job. That's it, okay? Uh, if you are looking for something different, something different burr options, you could, okay. Uh, this one has a Gen 2 burrs inside, but I mean, most of us, I say 99% of us out there, you know what, it's not that, you know, it's not that important, okay, because we just want to make coffee. I know people out there, uh, people on the live chat, I think you guys are the one percenter, okay, you guys are the one person of people that, you know, one's better, okay, something better, all right. But again, I'm back to, you know, most of us, if you have a five minutes, I think uh, you're going to have a great cup of coffee every morning. And I think that's why I like the, the form factor for the, the fellow Ogen too. Um, if, you know, if you don't know more about this grinder, uh, go, go to YouTube right now. Okay, search for fellow Ogen too. They got tons and tons of the reviews out there. Okay but my channel is i want to focus on the kind of like real life setting you know how it's going to perform on my kitchen okay and whoa hold on my my cat is hope you guys can hear me my cat is everywhere 
he's trying to I mean if you haven't seen my cat so so I have two of these okay so this is the uh, it's called rag, uh, rag muffin okay loves to yeah just loves to be held and yeah it's great anyway let's see I'm gonna check out the live chat here again I'm gonna see who is on this morning you got shout out to Bruce we have a uh, rains on let's see Elaine we got Linda's on as well yeah make sure thumbs up under this video okay we have I mean, yeah we have a uh, our crew our morning crew is joining us fantastic uh, people are talking about the uh, how you switch yeah same thing okay uh, find something you know very simple I mean how you switch just you know just pull it just wait for a few minutes and off you go all right same as like April drip similar style uh, I like the I mean obviously you know Aurea is really fast I mean once you start getting into it even B60 you can come up with a very very simple recipe okay N not like you know you have to watch it all the way that's why I like I like the single pull method maybe two it's still going into like three or four I know there's different steps out there but it gets a little bit much okay a little bit much so the simpler is the better in the morning yeah let me know okay let me know on the comment section I mean what do you like okay what do you like comes to your grinder choice and again uh, comes to kettle just go with any kind of gooseneck kettle it doesn't need to be electric it doesn't need to be you know even the temperature control either just boil it and brew some coffee I guarantee you this coffee is so much better than any other coffee you buy from store okay you buy from like even Starbucks because because you pick your own coffee beans okay and by the way I do have a coupon code if you haven't used a coupon code for good brothers I got 25% off so make sure to check it out and then I'm really looking forward to trying this decaf by the way I got this decaf from Daiso Coffee Lab. Yeah. Because I've been looking for good decaps. Uh, I, I tried this one last time. I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to try this coffee again. Maybe I should do that later. Okay. Later at the, my coffee cave. All right, folks. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. And then I'm going to see you guys in about a couple of hours. Okay. We're going to do an afternoon session at the, my shop there. Uh, should, be, should be fun. Hold on a second here someone's uh someone write me a little okay you got bibi uh bini bin bibi i don't know okay go uh got got into the rabbit hole you need a good coffee philosophy i think Hoffman has a good approach to how he views coffee yep the guys at the april yeah i mean again <clears throat> I obviously James Hoffman set the standard uh, comes to I mean he's he, he's pretty knowledgeable he's a legit okay James Hoffman is a really legit guy you know I really enjoy watching his videos and also Patrick from April as well great and the, you know these people I mean they are the they are the the one percenter I mean they are they knows what good coffee and also they know how to communicate that with kind of like regular people like us so i mean if you haven't seen uh patrick from april or james happen make sure to check it out uh you know what i mean they're everywhere they're everywhere on youtube there so yeah make sure to check it out as well uh let's see what else so i think we are good okay and i've been making uh, my own coffee water uh mixing it with like epsom salt and you know calcium and a baking soda so I mean if you guys are interested I have a tons of video on that too that's also make a big difference okay so if you are start talking about water okay which means now you guys pass this phase okay this phase so I mean if you are starting to getting into coffee okay starting to get into coffee I don't want too much time so so this is kind of like uh, 
pretty much good standard right here. Okay, so this is good. Okay, this is good enough. Okay, this is good enough. Don't go too crazy. Once you pass that line, all right, there's no end in sight. There's no end in sight. It's not pretty. Okay, it's not pretty there. Uh, just like we talk about rabbit hole a lot in coffee rabbit hole. It's not, yeah, I mean, you spend a lot of time and money and also a lot of researching too, okay? Because it's the thing about the, the best grinder, we talk about best grinder a lot, okay? Which one is better? Who, so people ask me, who, which one is better? Should I, go the, should I go buy this? Should I go buy that? The, my answer for you is, it's, it's not better, okay? It's about different. It's every grinders are different in their own way. It's not the most expensive coffee grinder is the best. You know, comes to beer quality, you know, yes, you know, what you pay for is what you get. Definitely you're gonna get a better quality from more expensive grinder. But comes to cup quality, that's a different story. Cup quality is on you, all right? Cup quality is on you. So, anyway, uh, we're gonna talk more about that later as well. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday and see you guys later.